is approaching the ring now. And this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. He's making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Gentlemen, one thing, protect yourselves at all times. Okay? Let's snuck him up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Teddy, you just look at the physical stature of these two guys, and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other. But if you're the fighter who's not as strong, you still got to go out there and win the fight. How do you do it? Well, first of all, you yell at your manager for making this fight. <laughs> And then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on, good track shoes, and you use them. Nothing there on the punt by the assassin. A well-placed left hand up top. Move your feet. the headshot but he parries it away there's a taste of the sweet science to see the skill he has in counter punching and you know what he's doing is taking his opponent's stab away Headshots with his defense up top. Last ten seconds of this first round. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight, but they're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses because now you can start to say, well, see, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it, and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight, you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where your discipline... You get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. Accurate counter punch by Magic Man.
10 seconds of round number two. Not precise at all by the assassin. Holmes' commitment to throwing punches in that last round really scored well for him. Well placed counter punch by the assassin. Holmes is showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. by the assassin. Final 10 seconds. Holmes is going with a quality that I think is very underrated in boxing. That is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed. Yeah, he's throwing educated punches. You know, he's not wasting anything. He's making everything count for him. Just as importantly, everything's leading to something else. You know, he's working the body one moment, and that's leading up to some head attack later on. So he's planning everything out like a smart fighter, a guy that understands his sweet science. some offense of his own. 